Asthma is a very common dermatological problem and it may affect everyone regardless age. It is not just an adolescent's problem. I have been treating acne and acne scarring since over 20 years now and I can tell you that there is no acne case that cannot be resolved. A lot of patients have entered into my practice after I have spent a fortune to treat the skin problem. Not just the scars, but acne itself. Let's take it right. We have to treat acne first, and there is no way we cannot get rid of acne, and the acne scarring will be treated later. A lot of high-profile people, like members of the parliament or bankers, or even people on the public eye suffer of acne scars. I have seen a lot of them coming into my practice after I have spent a fortune to treat their skin. I can definitely tell you that acne scars can be treated and can improve. It is unrealistic to expect that there is a magic stick to make them disappear though. Maria Cristina is the definition of the fashionista. She's a fashion editor and a blogger and shares her time between her native Athens, Paris and London. Since she is um, amongst beautiful models uh, during the fashion show, um, she feels very conscious about her acne and acne scars. Uh, Maria Cristina has never um, received any proper treatment for her acne. This is the reason that she ended up with um, extensive acne scars affecting not only her face, but also her back. When it comes into problem skin, especially with acne, a lot of people entrust the skin to non-medical personnel or even into um, doctors who are not specialized in skin. Only a fully qualified consultant dermatologist could actually address Christina Maria's skin. This is because we have to treat acne properly. When it comes into acne, whether this is a mild, moderate or severe, everything starts and ends uh, with a chemical peel. Chemical peel is a core treatment for acne. Chemical peeling on its own can actually improve dramatically mild to moderate uh, acne and also prevents scarring when uh, cystic scarring acne is on its beginning. Christina Maria today is going to undergo a medium potency peel. I will not give her uh, the peel that I would wish to give her because uh, number one, uh, it is quite sunny outside and we avoid uh, using harsh high potency peels uh, when there is a lot of ultraviolet light around. This is because there is a high risk of melasma or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. There's a whole science behind chemical peeling. Chemical peeling, it's not just alpha hydroxy acids that we might buy over the counter and apply it on our own at home. Chemical peeling is not the mainstream mild chemical peeling used in salons, beauty salons, or by any non-specialized uh, staff. Chemical peeling has to do with the type of skin, the severity uh, degree of acne. It has also to do with the individuality of every each patient. Now, how much does it burn from one to 10? Two. Okay. Now, this burning sensation will increase gradually to about four or five, in which case we will neutralize it. What does a bespoke um, peeling cocktail do for Christina Maria here? I am using a cocktail of 
four acids. Every each acid has a role. There is TCA that helps opening the clogged pores and also removes dead cells and debris that is causing the comedones. There are other acids, um, for instance, um, glycolic and um, citric acid that will render the uh, content of the comedones, the sebum, the dry sebum, softer and easier to extract subsequently. Then there is salicylic acid, which again has, number one, a mild antiseptic role, but most importantly, exfoliates. How much does it burn now? Um, four to five. Okay. So at this point, um, we have reached um, a mild erythema all over, and I think it's about time to neutralize the peel and start the Commodore extraction. Following the peel, you will expect that your skin will be tight and probably will crack in a few places mm -hmm. and exfoliate over the next three or four days. Mm -hmm. Now, all uh, serious and um, effective anti-acne treatment bear the following. They will render your skin worse than before, so expect a uh, temporary deterioration of your condition. This is very important. Now, exfoliation and peeling is part of this um, following the peel. However, you will be stunned by the improvement that you will see after a few days on your skin. Unfortunately, this dramatic improvement is temporary and will not last forever because you have acne and we must address acne properly. So you are in the right place, you are in a specialist dermatologist clinic and you will get the proper treatment now. Effective acne treatment, apart from the temporary deterioration, will most of the times cause you sun sensitivity. And that means that you can get a sunburn very easily if you go out and about following your treatment or uh, the chemical peel. Cristina Maria, um, you don't have a, a very uh, severe type of acne. However, your acne is persisting and also extensive. This is why we will start out with topical treatment and that will include prescription only topical isotretinoin. And then we will probably have to prescribe you systemic isotretinoin to address the acne that affects both your back and chest. Topical isotretinoin will render your skin dry, flaky and probably irritated. There are ways to come around that unpleasant feeling because you will have to apply your treatment for more than six months to have uh, some results. We never prescribe isotretinoin in the summer, especially the systemic one. The systemic one means that you take a tablet of isotretinoin. This commercially known as Rakutane or Accutane is a tablet that uh, basically will dry the sebaceous pores from the inside to the outside. And there comes actually the deterioration that I mentioned before. With both the topical treatment and the tablet, you will end up in the first place with more spots. This is because, as I said, the sebaceous pore will dry itself from the inside to the outside. So deterioration is important. It's an important step, an important phase to go through in order to get better skin. When you go through this temporary deterioration, it's important to continue having peeling sessions mm -hmm. because you may have more spots but we can keep them 
as under control as possible with peeling. Peeling also will help on the pre-existing um, scarring that you have, but will also prevent further scarring. Don't fall into the trap of uh, some uh, moderate acne patients who see their acne improving dramatically over the summer. The sunlight, especially the ultraviolet light, uh, improves acne. Why? Acne is not an infection. It's basically a skin inflammatory disorder. Now, ultraviolet light has an anti-inflammatory effect. So, by definition, acne and skin inflammation improved during sun exposure and summer. This does not mean that you got rid of acne in the end of the summer, because um, as early as October, November, the spots will come back. This is why you need to receive proper treatment for your acne. Looking at your back, you have extensive acne on your back, but also you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation basically are the dark spots mm -hmm. that remain after acne is gone. Those are addressed very successfully and effectively with the peeling again. I've heard that the Rokitan uh, drug has a lot of uh, side effects uh, and I'm quite skeptical about uh, those side effects. Average patient who undergoes uh, Rakuten, uh they sign an informed consent, especially female ones. This is because um, you should not fall pregnant during your treatment uh, because of teratogenicity. You will be thoroughly informed about every each possible side effect. Uh, another side effect might be dryness of your skin, especially of your lips. That could be, could be addressed with any kind of lip balm. Now, it is also um, advised that uh, Rakuten should not be prescribed into people who have personal or family history of depression because Rakuten could trigger that. Again, careful patient's history always points out the candidates that are not good to take the tablet. And what about the acne scars? How can we get rid of them? Okay, I wouldn't um, ask how to get rid of them, but how to improve them. Uh, there's no magic stick that can make acne scars disappear, but we definitely uh, can improve them a lot to the point that they are barely visible. There are three pillars that actually define the acne scarring treatment. What our acne scars are, um, are basically um, scar tissue that disfigures the surface of your skin. This is because very severe inflammation has healed casually. So, Apart from treating acne scars from the outside with chemical peeling, what we aim to do is to destroy that scar tissue that has developed anarchically and cause a controlled trauma. How do we produce controlled trauma? There are several technologies that help with that. Um, the simplest one is needling. Um, radio frequencies and fractional, ablative fractional CO2 laser. However, I believe that the manual controlled trauma with scar subcision or scar undermining as it's called is the most effective uh, way around it. Following scar subcision, we may fill up the gaps uh, with uh, fillers. Now, we can use a plain hyaluronic acid uh, or we can use um, fillers such as uh, L-polylactic acid that causes um, or triggers the production of your own collagen. So, the controlled scar tissue that develops underneath the scar is more prominent. Following scar subcision and any kind of filler um, 
in recent years, we have seen a great benefit um, using the uh, threads that we use for thread lift and rejuvenation of the skin on acne scars. Threads um, applied for acne scar treatment basically work as a scaffolding uh, on, uh, upon which your own collagen will develop. And again, this way, the controlled scar tissue that we want to develop gets a better shape. Christina Maria, we will see you again in about a month's time. Between four and six weeks, we need to uh, assess your progress and probably repeat a skin peel. That will be lighter if the weather is sunny.